UNH was the first land-grant university in the country to start up an organic dairy. We have a herd of registered jerseys. We milk 40 to 45 cows twice a day, and we raise all of our heifer calves with the hope that they'll join the herd when they become cows. In total, we have around 75 animals to take care of, and they range in age from newborn calves to almost eight years old. We have to follow strict rules and regulations in order to maintain our organic certification. Probably the most noticeable of those rules is that we're required to have all our animals out on pasture for a minimum of 120 days per year. We have 40 acres of pasture and we rotate our cows through those acres by giving them a fresh section of pasture after each milking from early May to early November depending on how the weather goes. So our girls hike up to the barn twice a day to be milked and they hike back out to pasture afterwards. They're pretty tough girls. They're out there during the day and night, rain or shine. We produce a quality product with minimal impact on the environment while providing the highest possible quality of life for our animals and for the people that work here. The farm, operated by the New Hampshire Agriculture Experiment Station in the College of Life Sciences and Agriculture, provides a platform for multidisciplinary, multi-institution research and education. Down, breaking down, breaking down, and then when it's small enough for her to swallow, she swallows it and regurgitates a new one to continue chewing. I'm a graduate student here at UNH working under Dr. Andre Brito, and my master's is going to be in dairy nutrition. And my most recent project is working in the pasture with the lactating dairy cows. We're feeding kelp meal as a supplement, which is really popular in organic dairy farms right now. So we're trying to gather some information on the effects of kelp meal on um, cow performance, health of cows, overall farm productivity. There are a wide variety of research projects going on throughout the year involving not only the cows, but soils, woodlands, water, composting, and cropping as well. We've stockpiled here about uh, 60 cords of white pine that we harvested um, primarily on the Burley Demerit woodlot. And the intention is, is that we will um, will have a yearly harvest amount that will supply the dairy with enough uh, wood to make bedding. We rely on UNH student employees all year round. It's an incredible learning experience, not only for students who have grown up on farms, but also for students that have no agricultural background at all. UNH Opens has so many opportunities for you. You do have to make sure you go to find them, but they're there everywhere. They have a great, great farming institution. If you ever want to know anything about farming, all you have to do, it's very easy to get a job, and they are very helpful and teach you how to do everything, and everyone here is just going to the good people, too. The Organic Dairy Research Farm offers world-class, hands-on educational opportunities and a unique platform for important research that has immediate and long-term benefits for producers in New Hampshire and across the Northeast.